this goofy winter that we have winter spring whatever it is that we've been having continues there's now snow on the ground and uh i'm going walleye fishing it's been raining kind of all day but um it's slightly slowing down there's a break in this rain slash snow and uh, i'm gonna take advantage of it so we're pulling the boat to the river i hope it stays not raining though i'm a little nervous that i'm gonna be going here with my new boat and all of a sudden i'm gonna get dumped on i really hope that does not happen but we will see oh so yeah it's kind of like nice out it's 37 degrees i guess that's kind of nice out because there's not much wind Probably should have cleaned that off the truck beforehand. It's probably all going right in my fold. Genius. I'm the only soul that's. Oops. Just drop my phone down in the point of no return. But I'm the only soul here. There's not a single boat out on the main channel right now, which is actually surprising. I mean, yeah, it's been rainy a little bit today, but. It's the spring walleye run. I thought there'd at least be a couple crazies out there besides me. Um, maybe some more people will come after the uh, the rain's done. We'll see. Not ideal conditions right now, to say the least. actually gonna do here is just take a slight refuge under this bridge until I can actually uh, get rigged up do some final preparation rig some rods up right here in fact you know what for all I know I can catch a walleye right underneath the bridge it's still drizzling a little bit it's supposed to blow over a tad so I'm gonna hang out here for just a bit Wow, that motor sure is quiet. I'm not used to the old four-stroke, that's for sure. Well, guys, that did not take long. Just pumped a gorgeous 15 and a half inch male. Perfect fish to eat. Hit that liquid willow cat. I'm gonna keep enough for a meal here. If I get some nice males, I like to let all the females go, but yeah, I'll show you what I'm doing here. I'll strap the GoPro on and uh, it's gonna be a pretty good day. I missed one and caught that one within five minutes. Not the target species there. All right guys, well I just caught that one walleye on this sauce, saucy swimmer and then another pike on this. Got another one of the wrong species here. So really guys, what I'm doing here, the rig that I'm fishing, um, is really this three-way plastic rig. I've got Liquid Willow Cat, Saucy Swimmers on both the front and then the trailer. Uh, the trailer one is more of just a hook with a little flipper type blade for an attractant. So this one's real weightless. This one's obviously heavier for that bottom one. Um, and I'm fishing it pretty slow. That's uh, This is a good cold water walleye bait. Those plastics, when the, I mean the water's 38 degrees. There's snow on the ground. Dumped four inches of snow into this water yesterday to cool it down, so. Really just kind of dragging it on the bottom. I do a few reels, lift up. I'll show my rod tip here so you can kind of see it. And then I'm letting it flutter down until it hits bottom. And just feeling that, that bottom con contact along the way, just like that. Unreal. That is funny. 
So we'll see what this one is. If this is a, I've caught a couple pike now. Oh, and this one is a, this one is a sauger. Oh, shoot. <laughs> There's like a little walleye got off right at the boat. But yeah, I guess that's a pretty, uh, pretty good representation of what I'm doing here. friend of mine is meeting me at the boat landing in a little bit so I'm kind of just hanging out close to there messing around for the time being I should get back up and spot lock a little bit on this thing it turned out to be a gorgeous evening I mean gorgeous by my standards isn't probably everybody's but for me 38 degrees and no wind it's nice out although with that said i also have the apparel to do it um i should give a shout out to uh this company well a couple of companies here for what i'm wearing and staying warm i've got the pc fun ice jacket which i use all the time in the spring also um, but what i really like i don't know if you can even see it i'm all bundled up here this hood but then also right here this vest it's called kemimoto and I can heat, it's a heated vest, battery powered for the vest and the hood part. So I can click this button right here. And you can, I don't know if it shows up, but that red right there turned the hood on so my ears are gonna be warm. And then I can do the vest on three different temperature settings. It is, it is awesome. Like, I'm a big believer if you heat your core, the hands, I'm not even fishing with gloves right now, and I feel like I don't need gloves as a result. So that's really, really nice. They sent me this to try out, and I'm really happy with it. I've got heated pants from them too, um, but the vest is awesome. The hood feature too, like I've seen a lot of, um, I have seen a lot of heated vests, you know, advertised, but I've never seen the, the hood feature, which is really, Really convenient, keeps the ears toasty. I'm figuring out more and more with this spot lock feature. Obviously that's new to me also, so figuring out north facing heading or north north facing or whatever, that feature is really nice to be able to set it at a speed and just keep me in line. Like right now I'm kind of on somewhat of what I would call a current seam. Let's be real though, there's not much current at all with the way that the uh, water is so low right now. So the current seams are not nearly as defined as they would be on an average spring that I'm used to. But I'm just kind of putzing up, working that three-way rig down in the bottom there heading slowly upstream sometimes you got to just take a take a moment to look around and appreciate like with that fresh snowfall yesterday and the fog right now I mean it is just a thing of beauty out here the sirens don't make it that enjoyable but <laughs> Move us in a little bit here. On days that are overcast like this, I feel like the fish aren't always as deep. Common misconception for me always used to be that to find walleyes, you know, you gotta go deep water, but that's not the case, especially this time of year. They like pushing in shallow. That's where the food is, that's where the water warms up first, so. Don't be afraid to go shallow. Hopefully this big old barge isn't trying to come through right here. 
I was smart, I probably would go back to the spot where I caught two walleye right away. Well, I missed one at the boat, caught another one. And I kind of putzed around and moved out of that area and tried a different bait and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, let's try it here for a bit until Jason gets here. I knew I should have moved. <laughs> Is it the right species though? That's the question. Oh yeah. Look at that. On the back hook there. So yeah, that's that back hook. Look at, oh my gosh, and look what is happening. He's getting excited all up in the boat here. That's how you know. But beautiful hook set right there. Perfect male walleye. He's going in the box. I better. Yeah. Just a hair over 15. Yeah, anyway, in my previous video, I did kind of give an overview of this. But once again, it's just those saucy swimmers from Liquid Willow Cat. Got that one on the bottom. My earlier walleye today came on the bottom jig. That one hit that trailer with the little flipper that I make. Uh, it's called a leech rig technically on Eric's site. I got that linked below, but. Oh no, how did I? How did this happen? That's a disaster. That is a disaster. Come on. I'm really liking this combo that I just got. And that neon line I, for the visibility fishing closer to dark is really nice too. Let's see if I can undo it without losing it. Oh. Hope I don't get a bite right now. Let's go, we're back in the game. All right, well that was pretty cool. Let's see if I can do that a couple, two, three more times. I need to set up a certain rod holder in here still, but otherwise I'm liking how the, the walleye wagon is coming together. Oh, we got a barge moving through. reeling it and waiting to feel that thump. That thump that every walleye fisherman loves. Oh, I see Jason here. I better go get him. Just got hit. Ah, he said here. One more cast, buddy. I would say I got hit. All right, I'm going to get Jason. We're coming right back here and getting the revenge on that walleye.
this golf thing's cart. legit. Yeah. The this, jack plate on the it jack and everything? The jack plate on it is pretty sweet. GoPro, stop recording. It is. <laughs> Can't tell if it's decent size or not. I'm scared it's gonna be a pike from being up on that flat. It's a walleye though, it's a good one. Oh, it's a pike. Stinking pike! <laughs> Hey, they're fun to catch too, though. That's what was stealing my tail. Um, now he's like, it's like, it's gone. Yeah, this is an awesome, just like. <laughs> Look this at the bluffs right. Look at the bluffs right now. That's sick. Insanely great day to fish. Like, I know. <laughs> great evening. I'm, although morning was, it wasn't raining in the morning, was it? No. I haven't put gloves on once. I'm the sheephead king. There's a sheephead in this system. It's definitely playing on my own. They catch like one fish to my eight, but they'd be one wall and I'd have to eat cheap. I wish I could say it takes a lot of skill to, to catch a sheephead, but it, it doesn't really take much skill. This one could be a perch because it hit it like right away. No, it's not big. Slightly bigger than yours, I'd say. He's going to be close. I know. Well, actually, that's the thing. I can't tape it on there. I just need a bump board, probably. I uh, I. That's cool. Because I didn't, I had it up here first. You know how many fish I lost? <laughs> One. That's all I needed. Should spot like right there. Although they're not, they're definitely, we should just scoot out a little bit. They're, I think they're out on the, they'll get to the edge of this flat. See, that one hit the back one. Standing over there? Oh yeah, there's water's clear as heck. Oh, thumped at the boat. There's a nice one. Yeah. Yeah. Chunky girl. <laughs> no. Big fat mama walleye. Thank you, sir, on the net. What's that? that three for three out there? Yeah, I'm three casts. Don't feel like you gotta move for me. Keep launching them out there. Maybe it's well, I'm just gonna spotlight before I forget where we were because there was an obvious pod right there. Take a picture with this junkie girl. 
nice female walleye. Beautiful walleye. Chunky little female. Try to get those ones back. All right, well, I got something figured out here. Maybe. These liquid willow kind of plastic part that I don't I've never like trucked had so much confidence in a plastic until I started using these. This one like got to the bottom and then just went boom. It's like the fish. Oh, yeah. Nice. Just went to a slightly lighter jig head on that one. On the, been getting more of them on the white lately. No need to measure him. Yep. Ah, uh, it deserves a. <laughs> that one got to the bottom and just got bombed. right now. this on my uh, old little 14 foot boat for a while yeah and it zipped it scooted that thing around a lot more than it scoots this around that's for sure it's a that's only a 55 pound thrust I mean I don't I have it at like three and a half right now out of the I think it goes to 10 or something or nine power Yeah. I better double check. 
check, but that is, they are loving that liquid willow cat right now. Getting to be prime time. Well, I'm gonna really put the pressure on Jason now and watch him catch his, catch his walleyes. That is a fish. I thought you were snagged for sure. Oh, well, this could be interesting. What in the world? Literally, literally the last cast. We were about to leave. I just want to see it. I know. Should I take the drag or just... I... We're good. I'm in no rush. 